Good day everyone! Welcome to another lesson about Science 10. Plate Boundaries Today, we're learning about three things. First, Divergent Boundary. Second, Convergent Plate Boundary. And third, Transform Fault Boundary. Let's start with the definitions of the different plate boundaries. In divergent plate boundary, the two plates are moving apart. While in convergent boundary, the two plates are moving toward each other. Lastly, in transform fault boundary, the plates slide or grind past each other. Divergence on continental crust Divergent boundaries within continents initially produce rift, which produce rift valleys. The space created can also fill with new crustal material sourced from molten magma that forms below. Divergent boundaries can form within continents but will eventually open up and become ocean basins. Divergence on Oceanic Crust The most active divergent plate boundaries are between oceanic plates and are often called mid-oceanic ridges. Convergence between two oceanic crusts. The figure shows an island arc and oceanic trenches that occur when both of the plates are made of oceanic grass. Zones of active seafloor spreading can also occur behind the island arc. These are often associated with submarine volcanoes. Convergence of oceanic grass and continental grass. The denser oceanic plate is subducted, often forming a mountain range on the continent. The Andes Mountain Range, a long mountain range in South America, is an example of this type of collision. Convergence of two continental crusts Both continental crusts are too light to subduct. So, a continent-to-continent -continent collision occurs, creating especially large mountain ranges. The most spectacular example of this is the Himalayas in Asia. Transform Fault Boundary The third type of plate boundary is the transform fault boundary where plates slide or grind past each other, which causes earthquakes. The best example of this plate boundary is the San Andreas Fault which is bounded by the North American Plate and the Pacific Plate. It is significant to study about plate boundary because this is where the deformation of Earth's lithosphere takes place which are called geologic events. In fact, these geological events have great impact not only on the environment but also on us. Mountains, mountain ranges, volcanoes, and volcanic island arcs are some of the geologic features or landforms created along the plate boundaries. Thanks for your attention! If you have any questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. See you on our next video lesson! Bye!